right, welcome back to the channel. This is hoodfilms.com. I just want to holler at you and say we appreciate you coming back. Definitely like and subscribe. Today I'm going to talk to you about is it too late for you to start a YouTube channel in 2021? So I'll be right back. So you made it over to the channel because you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel and you're like, hey, how do I get this going? Is it the right idea? Is it important? Why, do, why should I need one? A few questions I'm going to try to answer for you right here on this video. So it's important to have a YouTube channel for certain reasons. Like if you have a brand that you're trying to promote or if you have a message that you're trying to get out there or even a passion or something that you kind of like to do, then it's ways for you to put yourself out there on YouTube. Well, not only can you just kind of soothe your passion where you can do the thing that you like to do, but you can also help other people out there in the world because there's billions of people in the world. And this can help you by helping other people. So here, how, here is how that can go down. So say you are a person like me that like video. So I like video. I talk about video. I've been doing video, man, a long time. So now the Internet is around. So not only can I just showcase some of my stuff that I do, which is filmmaking, which you can see some of my movies right here on this channel. I also get to talk about video because sometimes as a director, I'm not in front of the camera all the time. Or as an actor, I got to read the script. I can't be and say what I want to say. So you don't get a chance to really get a deep dive from me. So also, I get to get a feedback from you by letting me know what you like or what you didn't like, what I should change, what I should work on, or what, what you think I should increase, the stuff that you want to support further, and stuff like that. So in that way, I'm building a brand, which eventually I'll be able to just be working for myself, making money from viewers, making money from my YouTube channel, and things of that nature. So it's got like a win-win in it if you put the time and effort into it. And also, if you just want to be passive and just want to get up there and talk about something, maybe you like comedy, or maybe you're working on, you like food, or you want to talk about food that you like, and stuff like that, that can, information that you learn, information that you find out about, you tell another to the world on your YouTube page, because anybody in the world can see it, you put it out there, <coughs> that information is helping people, and they're saying, oh, dang, for real? So if you put this food with that food, it, it, this is your result at the end, I never thought that. And so that's something that you told them because your uniqueness that you put out in the world, only you have that uniqueness. Nobody else can do you. It's so critical that you understand that because sometimes we might see somebody and say, oh, I want to be like that person or I want to be like that person. I want to live like that person. But they have their uniqueness and their uniqueness works for them. That's why you want to be like them because you see the uniqueness in them and you're saying, man, that makes, I, I'm interested in doing that. Sometimes when you go to the, well, okay, I'm going to do a confession. When I was a kid and I went to the clubs, I didn't just go in there and just start dancing right away. I'd go in there and stand to the side, kind of like, you know, play it off. And I'm looking at other people to see what dances they're doing. And it took sometimes a good 30 damn minutes to see what dances other people are doing. And so by the time I saw those dances, now I'm, it's time for me to dance with a girl. And I'm kind of mixing that dance with this dance a little bit. And so now I look like I know what I'm doing. When really all I was doing was just doing other people's dances and that's how I did it. So that's kind of like what YouTube is. You find people who are doing what you do. You go in there and you kind of mimic them a little bit. You kind of showcase what you have, but kind of sort of like what they did a little bit. So sometimes you'll see a video and it'll be something that's related to what you do. You take that video, you <clears throat> look at it, see how they did it and what they did about it. And you maybe take it and do your own version of it and make it a little longer because YouTube always give people kind of points if you make longer videos and you kind of explain stuff and people can watch your videos while they're longer and it'll help you build up your account on, on hours of watch time and your account of people being your subscribers so you need like I think it's 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time so and then you'll be able to get monetized where you can make money from your videos Right now, I got 560 hours of watch time, so I need like about a good, you do the math, you went to school, uh, to get to 4,000. And um, secondarily, I got almost 100 subscribers. So 
I got about 900 or something to get to 1,000. So it's a work in progress. So, and here's the unique thing. I started this page in 2011. So you can tell me what year it is right now in the comments and tell me how old is this page, the one you're looking at right now. I started this page in 2011. But I got on and off and on and off and on and off. And then, really, what I want to explain to you right now, and I also want you to like and subscribe to this page because I'm giving you some quality information. I don't know if you've heard this before. I want to make sure I say it to you. That you have to really understand YouTube. I thought YouTube was like Instagram and all these other ones, Facebook and the TikToks, but it's not. YouTube is slightly different in the fact that you can literally give great information on YouTube and get great information on YouTube. A lot of times these other places are just for fun. You know, Instagram is it's, it's 15 seconds on the stories. Uh, what is it, like a minute on the, on the other one? It's not really a lot of stuff you can gain from something as far as quality information in one minute unless you're constantly going through the scan of the person's page to kind of get this. But on the YouTube video, you sit right there a good hour, 20 minutes, however long the video is, you've got the information from it. This is something that you can use as value to actually make your video. So if you're talking about cooking or if you're talking about filmmaking or if you're talking about sports, you can go into depth about it. And, and the limits of the video is high. I mean, you could do like four, I've seen four hour, six hour videos on YouTube. 12 hour videos on YouTube because people who have done this have done volumes or maybe have been an audio book or whatever they was doing. So don't get discouraged. Believe that you can do your YouTube video. Believe that people are out there waiting on you. That unique thing in you, only you can do it. Nobody else can do you. I remember being a kid and they had a comedy thing called Police Academy. It was like a, it was a movie called Police Academy and it was a black dude in the movie. <clears throat> Obviously, back then, there was not a lot of black dudes in the movies, but this black dude was unique in Police Academy because he could do every sound effect known to man. This one black dude. So, he wasn't really an actor. He wasn't really like, he didn't even say words. He literally, well, okay, he, he did say words in the movie, but he wasn't an actor like you was known for his voice or known for saying some kind of word or whatever. He only did voices and sound effects, and I'm telling you, he was perfect at this shit. The, the best ever. To the fact that it was other people doing voices and sound effects back when I was a kid. I do not remember none of these people. I only remember this guy. And he, I don't even remember his name. He was just to be on Police Academy uh, TV show. And he did voices. And got helicopters. Sometimes they would have him on like the Johnny Carson show or Jay Leno show as I got older. And he would, and they would literally just have him on there to do the voices. And he would make these sound effects. And he would be playing a DJ. I'd have heard him do like a phone call operator. This dude that did a million kind of sound effects in his life doing that stuff. I don't even think he's alive right now no more. But I'm only mentioning that because now that he's dead, Where's the guy that can do all these sound effects? I ain't talking about, I know it's somebody out there. Don't get me twisted. I know somebody is doing this. I don't know who they are now. But somebody who they have grabbed and put on a pedestal like that, where they put him in a movie like Police Academy, which eventually had five movies came behind it. So it's like, where's that guy at? It's people who do voices, who can impersonate people's voices. But it's not too many dudes who can do those sound effects like that. This guy was a unique person. So... You don't have to be that talented. You don't have to be that unique where you can do something that's only you can do. You can just do you, and people are going to love you for doing you. Just like if you made it to the end of this video right here, you here because you digging what I'm talking about. And so you getting knowledge and understanding, and so you're going to go out here and put it to work because that's why you came to the end of this video. you got a plan. You're trying to go get something accomplished. So you want to hear every kind of word you can hear on it so you can go out there and put it together. I get that. I understand that. So that's why I want to give everything that I've learned. And the more if it comes to me, more information come to me about this, I'm going to tell you more. So definitely like my video. Definitely subscribe. Definitely leave a comment if you're trying to get started on YouTube, if you're worried, if you're scared, if you don't know what to say. I tell you best I can. I give some knowledge on it. I try to even make an ebook or something like that that you can look at so you can see it for yourself, point you in the right direction. The importance of getting out there right now is that it's the internet age. It's the information age. It's happening. Remember, I had this page for 10 years. It has been sitting stagnant for 10 years. So every once in a while, I come back and put a video up on it. And I'm talking about maybe like once a year, once a few months. I don't even think about it. But I felt like I was using this thing all the time. That's how crazy it is because I wasn't. By my viewers and by my count of subscribers, I wasn't. You, the more you put up, the more you get back. So now, uh, that being said, I'm not that far along further than you, even though I've had a page for 10 years. 
2011. It'll tell you in the analytics when you make it, when you get your page done and you start making these videos. It's an area inside YouTube they have called YouTube Studio where you download this separate app and it'll tell you everything that's going on on your page, what people look at, what they like most, what time they're watching it, when did they start watching it, when did they stop watching it, what what area of the world they're looking at it from, what, what cell phone did it come from, the iPhone or the Samsung. So it's really crit critical. You can get to the nitty gritty as far as how to expand and take those analytics and add it to further your uh, new projects that you're trying to create. So, again, you never know what can happen out there. You've seen people on here with 10 million followers and 10 million subscribers and, and then the like and all of this stuff. You, it's just so much you can do. So, get down to your niche. Find out what you want to talk about. Make some notes about it. <clears throat> Look on YouTube at some of the people who you already know that's out there, that's in the world that you do, and take some notes from their pages. Go and try to recreate some of those videos in your own words from your perspective and talk about those messages that you want to get out there to the world because it's a big old world out there and they all waiting on you. So don't be afraid to get out there. And this is your boy Yusef Hood. I'm hollering at you from Hood Films, the studio Hood Films, the channel on YouTube. And we appreciate you watching. Like, subscribe, and we'll get at you soon.